How far back do you want to come? Well, quite a ways because I got to drive forward to get it off, right? Right, because you're going to come in the hole pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. The downfall of dump trailers, they lift your ass end off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Oh, geez, yeah, that's kind of like putting a chalk under your wheel, eh? see the trailer lifting up as you pulled it off. This is going to be the new bed out beside the greenhouse. Jeff got in here with his machine, dug off all this soil. Bedrock is right here. Like this is bedrock right here. So at the top part here, we're maybe be going to get a foot of soil, which is good enough, but it will dry out really quickly. So I have to really make sure it gets watered and then it just gets deeper at the back and we're going to terrace it off into two different heights so that we don't have to put three feet of soil at the back just just to save soil we're just waiting for the truck to come to deliver this the topsoil and uh yeah we'll get another another whole garden over here this area here then we're going to put another wall this way and then fill the rest up with topsoil
level. Pretty close. As you may have guessed, we're out in the new garden area and Jeff has set all the posts in around the back and we just set this last post here so uh, yeah he's going to go get his other machine we've got the tractor here he's going to get the the uh, excavator and he's going to bring that out and we're going to start moving dirt
just trying to fix this transition from our trail up out of the woods. It got all dug up and it's kind of a mess now, so we'll try to fix it so it's better. Hopefully this one fits. Not too big. Because if we're going to have this raised up here, it's not going to come across. You're only going to get the rain that comes on the bed. Because yeah, it'll stop true. there and flow across. Yeah, I'm just going to leave a little bit for the lawn there. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. well, as fill too. And then oh, it might even just mulch in front of it. Well, yeah, just continue this. That mulch to the. Down. Just around the corner. and. I don't know if I'll put rocks in front or not. Because when we have a fence, then yeah. that's your border, right? Knob. Yeah, I just kind of throw those at the on the edge as filler. Some of them are pretty big. It still got a little bit of a slope. That's okay. Well, yeah. Not enough to. Not enough to worry about it. No, I'm not going to worry about it either. Yeah. Terracing it would have been pretty, but in this case, it's not as bad as. Uh, well, we had to order one load anyway, so... Yep, so might as well... Well, you said you had other uses for it, too, though, for the leftover. <laughs> yeah, but I still got three or four yards over by the... Yeah, that's true. I need some up here. Doing the front here and then this 
edge soft enough. Yeah, I should have maybe saved some topsoil for down there. To well, we got more grass over seed. on the other pile, babe. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the other pile. But no, I was thinking of just mulching that. Oh, all the way down there. Oh, yeah, okay. just thin on this edge, widened it up maybe, maybe. Yep, just, just do this, this edge. Hole. We're not going to cover the grass, but the four feet or whatever. Yeah, but that's it. No terrace required. We think it looks pretty darn good the way it is. All right, that's looking pretty good. We'll probably have stuff planted in here by the weekend, which is, well, maybe not by the weekend. That's tomorrow. So, but no, I think it looks fantastic. Creates a huge amount of garden space, but the bugs have not improved. We see dragonflies, but we need a lot more than what we have here to eat all these black flies. So we're going to head inside because it's lunchtime. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We just, Jeff heard the bird it sounded like, like something different when I mean, it wasn't a robin or whatever. So uh, we got up my Merlin app, which is absolutely fantastic. M-E-R-L-I-N, Merlin. And it's a bird ID app and it's absolutely fantastic. So we just put it on so it would re record the voice. It listens. It listens, yeah, you can set it to listen and then it picks the bird out of the list and it was a scarlet tanager and we were actually called it in closer with the calls on the app and managed to get it on video it's a pretty rare bird in this area so that was pretty fantastic seeing that yeah quite colorful oh yeah the color is fantastic he's probably mad at us because we yeah. didn't call it up and there's no, nobody around he's looking for a girlfriend we are now into mid-June. We've been working on the new garden bed. I'm going to have to get stuff in there pretty soon before it's too late. But uh, everything in the garden is doing absolutely fantastic. The tomatoes are doing great. The onions have recovered some from getting dug up. I replanted some carrots that this, also the squirrel dug up. And they're just starting to, uh, just starting to grow now. Most of the beans are up. Uh, some of my herbs are looking great. The peppers are doing okay. What's left of them? Let's go have a look. Those are the tomatoes. I'm going to have to start tying these up over here because they're getting really tall. And the potatoes in the new bed. They're going to start taking over everything pretty soon. They look fantastic. These are the peppers. There's a little bit of stuff getting chewed off, as usual, and I don't know what's doing it, but they'll, uh, they'll pretty much take care of themselves. I keep an eye on them to make sure there's nothing on them. The black flies are still here, so that's shitty. Brussels sprouts are getting big. Broccoli. I am questioning this broccoli again. It is so tall. Um, I don't know what it is, why I have a hard time with broccoli, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with the broccoli. Lots of dill coming up. Uh, uh, cabbage and cauliflower is looking great. I have some more peppers in here that I bought more peppers because, you know, the cutworms ate all those. So, and the lettuces are absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna have to get eating these before they start getting bitter. Garlic garlic scapes are coming on so i'm going to they've got a curl in them so i'm going to ch take these off but i'm going to cut off a couple for supper tonight and uh what else is there the beans are up strawberries are doing well we're almost in need of some rain so um hopefully it's supposed to be hot 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 for the next few days so i'm worried about the lettuce getting bitter then so we're going to be eating a lot of salad strawberries they are not as abundant as they were last year but 
we're getting fresh berries every day. I think I should, uh, I fertilized them, but maybe they need a little more water. But yeah, there's tons in here, so we're going to get a bunch for fresh eating. Maybe even uh, if we get too many, I will uh, throw them in the freezer. I'm just going to take this whole head here, and that's a beautiful head of lettuce. It could get a lot thicker, but you know, it'd be good the way it is. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm not taking the whole plant. I'm just going to pull some leaves off this. There, that should be enough for our supper tonight. And grab a couple of garlic scapes to uh, chop up and put in our salad too. Oh yeah, these onions! These are the onions that uh, wintered over and they're seeding this year, which is the way onions work. But what I've been doing is just taking off, because uh, we're not going to get onions out of them. So I've just been uh, taking off the leaves, taking off the leaves for, uh, for salads as well. And that's our onions in salad. And they're, yeah, they're delicious. We are here to do the garlic scapes. Everybody's got a nice little curl. I'll show you one. That's the kind of curl you want. Yeah, some of these I'm going to use for myself because we like garlic and some uh, we are going to give away. So let's get these things chopped off. It's hard to find the bases. And we need to take off these. They're essentially the flowering part of garlic. And we need to take them off so that uh, it concentrates on feeding the bulb, not the, not the flower. And now tomatoes are getting tall. I'm going to start tying them up to the to the stakes here, but first I want to prune them, get all this bottom stuff off so that we've got one, one leader that just goes straight up. Oh no, what has happened here? Uh -huh. Maybe I better leave that one on, cut off that fruit too there. So yeah, I'm just going to That was my yellow. Darn, those were delicious last year. Got a red and an orange left. These are the little grape tomatoes that I saved seeds from the grocery store plants. Let me get that tied up over here as well. So that's going to be the end of this video. The bed is done. Uh, we've got to put the fence around it still. But that can wait for another day. We're going to get some uh, serious rains coming over the next few days. So we're going to just leave it for now. I've got some, uh, I've got some cucumbers and some cantaloupe and zucchini and a pumpkin. And oh, more cantaloupe, which is great. Uh, these are my own seeds, which I started and restarted and then restarted again. So they're pretty small. I don't know why they had such, I had such a hard time with them. And uh, yeah, and then I got some leftover potatoes as well. Those are just regular red potatoes and white potatoes. And these delicious little morsels. I'm definitely going to plant some more of those. So they're going to be going in there as well. And Jeff picked up some corn and some beans. So we're going to try to get this bed all full of that stuff and uh, we'll keep you up to date. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.
ice cream. No. You play fuzzy thing. I can play with your fuzzy thing if I want. What kind of ice cream am I gonna get? You are gonna get rum raisin. What? <laughs> Black cherry? Yes. I like rum raisin. It's so good. What did you get last time? Because you didn't like it. What did I get last time? Looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, man, look at this. Does it look good? I'm gonna hurry and get ice cream. We eat ice cream in the car. Um, what did you get last time? Oh, what did I get? You got what are you gonna get, Cutter? What are you gonna get?